A year ago, for my 50th birthday, we traveled to Zermatt to see the Matterhorn. It was my birthday gift to myself as part of my travel bucket list. Our day started very early as we traveled from Lake Constance to Zermatt. Our train took us to Roman Schorn, where we transferred to an intercity train, IC8, to Brig. The same train will stop at Zurich Airport and Zurich Main Train Station if you come from that direction. Before reaching Brig, we got off this to transfer to a Regio Express train, RE225, that took us to the town of Zermatt. A one-way, second-class ticket costs 149 Swiss francs from our origin station. From Zurich Airport, the ticket will cost 129 Swiss francs. With a Swiss half-fare card, you get a 50% discount. We bought our Swiss half-fare card at the airport railway station office upon arrival. I have linked in the description, website reference for more information on the Swiss half-fare card. We arrived in Zermatt at 11.15 in the morning after almost 5 hours of train travel. We quickly looked for our hotel as soon as we got off the train. As my aunt-in-law accompanied us, we booked a junior executive suite with Matterhorn View to accommodate the three of us. As December was high season in Zermatt, our two-night stay at the hotel was the most expensive accommodation I have ever paid for. We booked three days and two nights at this hotel as we also wanted a view of the Matterhorn from the hotel and three chances to get to see the Matterhorn. Before coming to Zermatt, our aunt mentioned that there was a chance that we may not see the mountain at all, because of weather conditions like snow or fog. With three days at Zermatt, we hope to get at least one good day. After checking into our hotel and grabbing a quick lunch, we hurriedly went to the Matterhorn Railway Station, also known as the Gornergrat Bahn. To get a closer view of the Matterhorn, we had to go up the Gornergrat. Going up the ridge is the most popular way to see the Matterhorn. The round-trip ticket price to Gornergrat is 88 Swiss francs, with a Swiss half-fare card, you also get a 50% discount. Seating on the train car's right side, we witnessed the Matterhorn's picturesque views during its ascent. It takes about 33 minutes from Zermatt to Gornergrat. What I exit? Our first order of business after arriving at Gornergrat was to buy a Toblerone chocolate bar from the station kiosk and take pictures of the logo superimposed against the apex of the Matterhorn in the background. The Matterhorn apparently was the inspiration for the triangular shape of the chocolate pieces. We also visited the Bernhard von Aosta chapel and lit some candles. At the souvenir shop, we bought a keychain we intended to use as a Christmas tree ornament. About 100 meters east of the train station at an elevation of 3,100 meters is the highest hotel in the Swiss Alps, the Kalm Hotel Bornergrat. Outside the hotel is an observation platform, but we did not bother to go up the area as we were already delighted with our view of the Matterhorn from the train station. We spent almost two hours at Gornergrat and went back down on the second to the last train for the day.
We were fortunate on our first day that the sun was shining and the Matterhorn did not have any cloud cover. By the time we reached the village, it was already getting dark. Souvenir. Pala pa, bo, souvenir. We walked around the town, did window shopping, and bought another Christmas tree ornament. After having dinner, we walked to the train station and took an electric taxi back to the hotel, which cost 15 Swiss francs for the three of us. It snowed throughout the day the following day. We slept in until late in the morning as the day turned out to be more of a rest day, considering this was the end of our second week in Switzerland. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we looked for a restaurant where we could have lunch. We wanted something special as it was the date of my actual birthday. The weather was pleasant on our last day. However, clouds covered the Matterhorn. We waited until noon for the cloud cover to clear up, but it didn't. We had planned to go up the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise via the Matterhorn Express cable car. Eventually, we decided to go back to our base in Lake Constance. Hopefully, next time, we can go up the Glacier Paradise or hike to Stella Z to see the Matterhorn reflected on the lake.